the Beatles. Were they part of some evil conspiracy set up to brainwash the youth of the world, create a market for illegal drugs, and destroy the moral foundation of our great nation? Yes, they were. According to Dr. John Coleman, author of The Conspirators, The Committee of 300, I found an excerpt from this book on a website called Educate Yourself. A bit about this website. A link is provided for those who enjoy specimens of lunacy. Educate Yourself does not really have a home page. There is a header that lists numerous internal links. The page called Current News functions as a home page, sort of. The header contains topics such as NWO News, Water Supply Sabotage, Vaccine Dangers, The Aliens Are Coming, as well as names of authors such as David Brandt, Ruth Drown, Phil Ledeau, and several others. I'm not familiar with any of these authors, nor do I have any idea what the fuck Project Blue Beam or Organ Generators the RELFs, colloidal silver, or monoatomic gold are. The 100 or so internal links in the header appear to be in no particular order, not alphabetical nor categorical. It looks random to me. There is no search function. The current news link has a column on the left with numerous other categories. They all seem to be internal links as well, except the links to anonymous web searching resources. And it's true, nobody gives a shit what these nuts are looking up on the internet, but I'm sure it makes them feel special to think that someone does. Thus, the links. There is a brief introduction page by the editor Ken Adachi who explains that organized medicine is a scam and concludes his short introduction piece with, The only thing you have to do is learn how to work with Mother Nature and observe her laws. She'll take care of everything else for you. Then the funny thing is the disclaimer that appears on the bottom of every page on this site which reads, all information posted on this website is the opinion of the author and is provided for educational purposes only. It is not to be construed as medical advice. Only a licensed medical doctor can legally offer medical advice in the United States. Consult the healer of your choice for medical care and advice. So, okay. This is where the excerpt of Coleman's great insight to the Beatles can be found. Coleman claims that the Beatles' popularity did not happen naturally. The whole thing was a setup, something that he calls part of a social experiment which would subject large population groups to brainwashing of which they were not even aware. Coleman believes that the Beatles' phenomenon was created artificially by the Tavistock Institute, an organization that was formed in the 1940s to study collective behavior. Coleman thinks their real purpose was to create collective behavior. Like everything else that Coleman believes, he provides no documented evidence for this. So according to the wacky doctor, the terms cool, teenager, pop music, and discovered were created by Tavistock and introduced into the public lexicon via the Beatles' introduction into the United States in 1964. He calls them trigger words, and he thinks that they were coined to help facilitate the illegal drug trade. I am going to say that Coleman is wrong about this. I can think of references to the word cool as a slang term connected with cool jazz, and the New York School of Abstract Expressionist Art, as well as the San Francisco beat scene, 1940s through 50s. Teenager, uh, also 50s or earlier, connected with popular culture, music, comic books, movies, etc. 
Pop music, I'd say, goes back to billboard charts of the 1940s, maybe earlier, short for popular music, uh, established to distinguish generally popular music from the more specific categories such as country or classical in record sales. So I say that Coleman is wrong, but I'm going to look these up, and if he is right and I am wrong about any of them, I will give him full credit. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Okay, after looking it up, cool as a slang term has a Wikipedia entry where numerous different cultural origins of the ter term are discussed. They even have a pictorial timeline that goes back to the 1500s. Cool jazz, abstract expressionism, and the beat generation, as I said, are included. Teenager from Answers.com, quote, The exact date has yet to be determined. The word makes a matter-of-fact appearance in a 1941 issue of Reader's Digest, but being derived from a long-established teenage. It must have been around at least a few years earlier. Pop music, it has a Wikipedia entry as well. The wiki arti article puts the origin of the term pop song at 1926 and the establishment of pop music as an established category in England in the mid-1950s. So it is clear that Coleman does not back up his claims with anything similar to research. I'm not even going to bother with the term discovered. Okay, this article is filled with insider terminology and concepts that are meaningless to those outside the conspiracy nut circle. The Committee of 300 is a figment of Coleman's imagination, some secret society that controls everything like the Illuminati. One of the funniest claims is that the Beatles did not write their own songs. They were written instead by a composer named Theo Ordono. There is no documented evidence that Ordorno had anything to do with the Beatles. So Coleman goes on to talk about LSD. He says that the drug was created by chemist Albert Hoffman. That is true. However, LSD was invented in 1943, and Coleman neglects to mention this, implying that the invention of the drug had something to do with the Beatles. Obviously, it did not. Coleman also thinks that the beat generation stemmed from the Beatles. No, the beats originated in the late 1940s in San Francisco, well before the Beatles. Coleman's short piece is filled with obvious misinformation that con contradicts common knowledge and even just a cursory spot of research can confirm it to be bullshit. So this guy is just laughed off and nobody takes him seriously, right? No. Nope. There are hundreds of articles on the internet in which the authors repeat this crap. And there are YouTube videos where one can see true believers thanking the creators of these videos for revealing the truth. Why? If it's so easily debunked, then why do people believe these clowns and why would people continue to spread this crap? It's because the desire to believe it is that strong. Authors such as John Coleman are writing for those who are already convinced that these things are true. His intended audience is not going to double check anything. They are going to accept it without question. In this way, the conspiracy theorists are a cult in and of themselves. Conspiracies are seductive in many ways. The believers feel as though they have special information that most people don't know. And there is also a feeling that they are rebelling, going against what is expected of them. The paranoia makes them feel important. If I know things that 
they don't want me to know, then I am a threat to them, and that's why they are out to get me. Ooh. The subjects are often drawn in by a good story, a narrative. They find out something about a proposed conspiracy, and they want to know more, as anyone would. Well, what happened next? And then what? They start consistently looking for more information about the conspiracy, and there comes a point where they no longer have to rely on people such as John Coleman to provide the information for them because they will start seeing it themselves. The evidence starts becoming apparent in everything. Then they feel that they have developed a special ability to see that which others simply can't see. Then there is a self-perpetuating thought-locking mechanism that comes in, that kicks in. And what I mean by this is the subject will become suspicious of any information that contradicts the conspiracy theory. They will perceive it as information that is something they want us to think, a threat. In order to keep themselves safe, the subjects must continually deny, reject, or in ignore anything that goes against their decided belief structure and become even more adamant about that which confirms the belief structure. The rest of us are either ignorant dupes or part of the conspiracy network. So do conspiracies exist? Of course they do. Any two or more people can conspire to do anything, and they don't even have to take any action to facilitate their plan. All they have to do is discuss it, and we have something that can be technically defined as a conspiracy. But specifically, Specific conspiracy scenarios that are disseminated in popular culture do tend to crumble under even a minimal level of inquiry. Then you get the, don't you admit that there is something fishy about this? Well, of course there is. But it's suspicious within the context of the event. Without the context, the suspicious becomes unnoticed. For example, Okay, this is just a hypothetical uh, scenario. Yesterday, Bill arrived at work 10 minutes earlier than he usually does. When asked if he went in the storage room yesterday, Frank claimed he doesn't remember. Mary took an extra 20 minutes on her lunch break yesterday. In the storage room, the boxes of paper towels were stacked in the northwest corner. Usually, they are in the southwest corner. All of these things would generally go unnoticed. Who cares? Now, let's say they discovered a dead body in the storage room yesterday. A confirmed murder victim. Now, all of a sudden, these incidents take on a suspicious significance. Now this is just my own take on it, and there are many interesting ideas about how conspiracy theories work and why so many people believe them. I would like for those who are interested in the subject to investigate the matter, and it would be great to see more videos about it. Informative ones, not just the proving the Illuminati's existence by pointing to a pyramid on a dollar bill, or the there is no Illuminati you fucking morons type of thing. You know, good informative videos.